All right, cool. That works. That lines up. All right, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the stream. It is the VNDO stream. It is my stream on today, the 25th of July, 2020, 2020, 2022, 2022. My name is Vino, and uh, I'm glad that you joined me for a special occasion. That's right. It is. Um, it's, a, it's a game. It's a stream. Uh, someone has pinged me on Discord. I shall ignore you on Discord. Uh, but yeah, no. I hope you've had a, a wonderful week so far, or a wonderful week that happened in the past, because it's Monday today. It's you know your week hasn't happened unless your week resets on a Tuesday. I know one person who does that, I don't know. Let's boot up the game, and let's go in. I've come to a bit of a weird realization. I think the game, the videos at the beginning, seem to be uh, based on, I think, the day I'm playing the game. Because I've noticed, it's like, oh, I've been consistently getting a different video every time I've played the game. And uh, testing it to get today, another video. And then I get the same video every time I was running the game today. So, what good odds? We get to have a different video every day. Oh. oh. Ooh, rip him. Can, can I just make that the thumbnail? Just, just the guy screaming at the camera. Oh, is he gonna do it twice? There he goes, very dead. Very dead. Oh boy. So, uh... So yeah, uh, today is... It's gonna be the last stream of this game, uh, cause there's only four parks. There's not really too much to see beyond that. Theme Park World! Theme Park World! Yeah, thank you for missing the beginning part of that sentence, but sure. Uh, but, you know, just as a mild retrospective, conquered the dinosaurs, uh, conquered Halloween, uh, conquered Worm, and now we enter space. Everyone likes space, I think. Um, I know some people were like, this is their favorite park. So it's good that it's the lucky last one, I guess. The future. Ooh. Here's a statement. I don't think I've ever played this one on this version. So, uh, let's let's go, Yoldi Faithful. Uh, there was a roller coaster right away. Uh, but let's let's go with the crater creature. Uh, I think that's fine because we're able to do this. Uh, I'm gonna apologize if I accidentally miss anything with my mouse because I bought a new monitor. First, this is a blue very bizarre um, pride layout. Uh, I bought a new monitor and I'm very happy about it, but uh, to preserve some <coughs> form of consistency First, with the <coughs> last stream, um, I it's a 4K monitor, but I'm running the game, or I'm running the my computer in 1080p the button and then the game itself is running at like 800 by 600 inside. That meter on um, the left side of the panel shows how purely because, visitors are. If there are any visitors, uh, purely because that was what I was running the game at uh, when I was streaming before, when my mon when my original monitor had died. I usually would play the game in 1440p. You'll need to build pylons to support this kind of track. Click in the highlighted area to build a pylon, and the track will be going? joined to it. If you click on an existing pylon, another one will stack on top. Clicking the other end of the ride will complete. I have no idea if the music is actually gone. <laughs> I'll just go simple. I'm just gonna make sure. Stream saving. Uh, if I hit uh, reset park, do I get different sounds or? No, I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I'm in, because it's usually, like, dead silent. So I think we're good for the moment. Someone's going to tell me off. First you move the blueprint or rather, I'm going to tell myself off if, uh, Second, it's if not quite right. Building has an entrance, which is 
So we'll pop the arcade down. Giant puzzle. Everyone loves the giant puzzle. Pop the giant puzzle there. Totally not clipping the ride. There's a bit of a slope. What's the map layout on this one? We got a weird slope going through the middle there, but you got a bit of area. Okay. Uh, shops. Do the shops classic. Shops over on the side. I'm curious when the music's gonna really, like, kick up. Hey, do you know about the theme park world Golden Tickets? I do. They're a special I, currency. Yeah, that I, that's real like funny that rounds. you're telling me about the things golden that tickets. Wouldn't normally discover for you. <coughs> you know, the thing that uh, I might have had to get like 20 of in order to get in there. Loads of visitors to your park. Or 14. Why don't you try it? Uh, chuck some toilets. Um. <laughs> if you're curious about a button or icon, just I'll say the one thing I am very curious of is that music. That at the bottom of the screen. Uh, check a security camera. I think the music is going to kick in at some point. Uh, ooh, I could tuck the staff room over there. That is the worst place for the staff room. People want to come in, but your park is closed. You should think about opening up. Uh, 25 bucks. Take it or leave it. You don't have enough mechanics yeah, to maintain Yeah, I know I don't have rides. enough mechanics. Maybe you should hire some more. I also know I don't have a... a uh, Rubbish bin. This is where you Look come at to these little <clears throat> big aliens! <laughs> Amazing. This is where you come to get <clears throat> Mark Inman. This is where you come to get No scientists, park. excuse me. Someone, just click their name on the list. Oh, you gotta get David <clears throat> Byrne. Gotta get David Byrne now again. You need to <clears throat> okay. Uh, <clears throat> and then we're making everyone get trained slightly. And then this screen shows information. We'll see how it goes. <clears throat> You've already built all of the available. Yeah, rides. there's no scientists. There's none. Ones. There's none. Two, 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 two. You hire some scientists. No scientists. So, uh, but yeah, no. The so the monitor is 4K. I'm running the screen at 1080p, which DG Voodoo is respecting, and the stream is at 1080p. So that's why, like, I'm going with that for the moment. Um, I'll figure it out later. Uh, but I just thought let's keep it standard. And then of course the game only runs at 800 by 600 because why, you know. You don't need any any more pixels, don't you? Uh, let's chuck a toilet over on this side as well. Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, wow. Wonder what solves that problem. Uh, but yeah, no, these monitors, at least for the four hours that I've been really using them, they've been doing all right. My only issue is that uh, my graphics card is older and it doesn't support HDMI 2.1. It only supports 2.0, I think, and uh, DisplayPort 1.4, but that means that in order to run the monitor at its highest resolution, its highest... Yeah, it sounds like the music's really starting to kick in. Um, in order to run the monitor at its highest resolution, refresh rate, whatever, it has to effectively... Uh, do, what is, what's the term? Chroma subsampling, aka uh, the data gets a little smushed, there's a bit of color data that gets lost um, either within pixels or most likely between pixels, so different pixels will have different color ranges. Um, that becomes incredibly noticeable when you have text on screen. Golden rocks. Ooh, fancy. Um, but yeah, if you've got text on screen, you can start seeing uh, things like the... Um, I have no idea where to put this, but we'll just leave it there. But I legit need a scientist. There you go, David Judd. They're the only one I've got. I gotta buy some more dudes. This is where you discover. Overwork them. Let's go. Dragging the horizontal. <laughs> You've already built I all get of the it. shops that are currently available. <laughs> you want to research um, some more? But yeah, no. You, you get you get chrome subsampling. It's very noticeable with text. It's very not noticeable with. Visitors find your cool. ticket price is very cheap. Perhaps you should raise. Thirty-five. Them. Uh, it's it's not as noticeable in games. Um, so I then I, t I did a bit of a test. I played Dirt Rally and then I played Unreal Tournament 2004. Um, Dirt Rally just as a it's a newish game that I've got, um, and uh, Unreal Tournament 2004 because it's a neat looking game that won't all of the available like crunch my GPU too hard. So Unreal Tournament 2004 it bored. does run at 4K 144. It's just well, I get the chroma subsampling on it, but at least like that's my test. Um, dirt, 
I, I dropped the game to high, it was running at like 70-ish. Um, I sometimes had some settings up and down a little bit. I, I usually turn down um, uh, shadow resolution and the crowds seem to be something that you can very easily turn down in, um, in Dirt Rally because they don't come up too often and when they do, they do kind of tank your performance. I never really like shadows in games. I mean, like, you know, shadows are cool, but, like, they are so intensive for the actual visual fidelity that they give. I usually get the rough idea with shadows. Granted, like, there's a bit of a... There's a bit of a, you know, aliasing going on here, but for the most part, like, you know, games are alright. I don't think this... I think you get, like, three graphics options in this game and then, like, the resolution. Um, you know, for a, for a space park, uh, the outside sure looks about the same. Um, I actually noticed it's like, you're not seeing it on your display, but I'm seeing it on, on mine. This, uh, this yellow line, um, I think I've got like the overdrive setting on because it's, uh, it bleeds a bit blue on the other pixels, which is weird because I'm definitely running the game only at 60 frames a second, so. You get, you start like picking these and it's like, well, I mean, yeah, y you can, no display is perfect. No display is ever gonna, you know take one pixel and immediately show you the next pixel with absolutely zero, like, bleeding. If you want that, you gotta just go with 1080p 60 monitors now. The, it's so... Well, well I guess any 60 hertz monitor. If your monitor does, like, more than that, um... You know, it, it's kind of likely to bleed in some way. Um... There's probably a bunch of settings I could do. Wow, there's a lot of people coming in already. Do I have more scientists? Because I do need... More. Okay, well, one more. There's a litter bug running amok in the park. You should get a cleaner on the case. Can I up the, the price? I'm gonna up it to 42, 43. You can use the plus and minus buttons on this screen. We're good. To I think we're good. I think we're good. All right, <clears throat> five values. Okay. Psst. The visitors think your really? ticket price is a steal. You know what? If this is like the reason. Halloween park where it's like I got very like comfy with the amount of ah oh, too, too much, too much, too much. You can use the uh, plus but and like <clears throat> I got very comfy with having the ticket price like up a fair bit. Okay, cool. You told me the ticket price is a steal, and then immediately it's not. Because the value That's went great. down immediately <clears throat> afterwards. Okay, they're accepting 43 bucks. Alright. Uh, Colin Robinson. John Rostron. And Richard Steer. This is where you're chucking, <clears throat> chucking more scientists on. We gotta, we gotta go quick fast on the, on the research. Um, so you might be wondering what these rides are, because I just chucked a bunch of rides in. We've got the Gravitron, aka uh, a puke sideways kind of machine. We've got Crater Creature. On this, screen. <clears throat> this is just, this is just. On this screen, you can like view and edit a ride. Wazowski. Drag the sliders to adjust uh, the speed. Capacity and duration of the Mike, Mike Wazowski, but four arms. I don't know. <clears throat> very bland name, well, but. Workers all seem very happy. Keep it up. Rock and roll, and which is another one of these uh, screen arcade games. Although it goes up and down. It's a little more exciting. Your employees. And, uh. Of, of course. The, the Escape Velocity. What a wonderful name. One day I, I will learn how to do the loop. Wow, they're really enjoying this one. Are they getting on and off between, like, things, or... Why do they keep disappearing? Are there too many people on screen? I'd be screaming too if people keep disappearing around me. That's amazing. Okay. Um, I guess also I've got enough golden tickets for... You know, everyone's favorite. Three, two, one. The Cosmic Cruiser, but notice as well, there's actually two, three mystery rides. There's another one at three golden tickets, which I might be able to get if I get three more golden tickets. I'm certainly not getting the five golden ticket one. I think it's probably another big roller coaster. Um, and obviously, I didn't buy the four golden ticket one in the um, uh, in the uh, Wormland. Uh, so there, there's. Some rides that I'm not really showcasing in this in these streams, but I feel like, uh, you know, you get the gist. Your park is going, and you've just got to be patient that you research everything, and then eventually, you know, get all these milestones. 
Um, which I feel like is kind of the general gist of a lot of, like, park builders. Um, and I guess to be, uh, like, uh, I, I guess, you know, it, it is the last stream. I get to be a bit uh, retrospective in some way. Um, but definitely, like, it's a cool game. Uh, but it certainly does, like, you know, it ends right when it probably should end. Which is four parks that all kind of do the same thing. This screen shows all uh, kinds of information about your park and its Not the park rating, the park value. Okay, the value is still about the same. So we're not up on anything, but... Certainly getting a lot of guests in the park, so that's all good. And again, again with this thing, this is just gonna like go up and... Everyone rides off into the sunset. Like, sure, okay. There they go! There they go! Amazing. Amazing. I love the look of this place as well. It's just all purple with this like the secret of getting the bizarre orange and like Give pink some tr direction. like trees. I don't Jackson even know, man. It's areas. very bizarre. And you've got this insanely like futuristic, glossy, shiny path that's being lit on the path itself. It's all so JPEG, but it's wonderful. It's wonderful. I don't know where to really put these, like, extra features. So much so that I'm about to sneeze. Oh no. I felt it and then it didn't come. And that's very, that's very annoying because now I'm like... Mm -hmm. You know the feeling. It's the worst feeling. I hate this as well. Like, the fact that the ride extends out but it's circular. Oh well, how's the research going? I'm this almost at an upgrade, okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, you can never get the, the absolute perfect monitor, but you can get one that suits your needs. For me, I don't necessarily need HDR, I just want something that responds really nicely, and then I was looking for something a bit bigger and a bit more pixels than my last one. Maybe not necessarily the more pixels, but uh, definitely bigger. Actually, sorry, I was kind of looking for more pixels, but then I was like, I don't want to do more pixels in a 27-inch format. So these are 32-inch, there's a 32-inch monitor, and, uh, well, it's been doing the job for one day. I'll, I'll check in how it goes. Uh, hopefully, I always keep saying, hopefully, I mean, I'm not going to need any larger. 32 inches, massive. We've discovered a new Crater creature oh, already wait, has an upgrade. It's, it's uh, I'm 18 upgrade minutes into the stream. Uh, I don't know what I mean by already. What am I going to call? Uh, was it Archimedes? Oh, I, I, I'm actually going to write it like this. Which one's the one proof? If you've guys, if you guys have seen this proof, it's like, well, yeah, quotes proof because it, it's there's a fallacy in there. But it's like, okay, so imagine a circle, and you draw a square around the circle. Um, the perimeter of the circle is, sorry, the perimeter of the square, like, okay, assume the diameter of the circle is one, and the square touches like the four sides. Therefore, the perimeter of the square would be four because it's four sides of side length one. Then, what you do is that you take a corner and you basically, uh, like, truncate in. Uh, but you still keep it at 90 degree angles, so it's truncating in. It hasn't yet, like, touched the circle yet, which is correct. Um, actually, is it correct? I don't actually think it's correct. Maybe. I'm gonna need to double check it, but it's like the whole point is that since you truncate it, the perimeter is still the same because you've just gone in 90 degree angles. Uh, but you can approximate closer and closer to the circle, and the idea is that if you're infinitely approximating towards the circle, that, like, your estimated boundary limits to the actual boundary of the circle, and therefore, since the circumference of a circle is pi times the diameter, and the diameter is 1, pi must be 4, which is a complete lie, but... Because <laughs> the approximation is never actually the limit. It, it, it's not. It looks like it, but it's not. Um, so I forgot who did the proof, but it's a fun one. There you go, there's your math nerdiness of the day. 
Oh, more people? Lots more people. How's the park doing? How's the number of people? 122. Lots of, lots of people in the park. I don't know how many people you need for any of the golden tickets in this park, though. It's probably a lot easier to do some stuff in the uh, earlier parks than uh, this one. Have a let's just chuck. Let's just chuck this here. 75 bucks. It'll increase my park value because I'm building stuff. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. I always. So. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Oh, I didn't even mention. Yeah. So the. Well, I did. But the. Yeah. So the. The monitor has to do that chroma subsampling in order to do 4K at. Um, anything higher than 60 hertz? I thought it was only going to be a thing above 120, but apparently it affects everything above 60 hertz, including the native 100 hertz mode, which, uh, there's no 85 hertz mode, like my last monitor did, so maybe if I custom set that in, maybe that'll be okay. Um, and maybe if I try some other, like, weird values here and there, maybe it'll be okay, but, uh, at least for the close approximate time being, uh, it does get chroma subsampling at... Are we good? Are we good? Okay, we're good. Um, and yeah, the only limit is because my graphics card is old and it just doesn't have HDMI 2.1, uh, which is the only way to push enough bandwidth to power the card or to power the monitor. And I found that's amazing. The fact that like I'm happy with the performance of the 1080 Ti, even when you try to run it with the Chroma subsampling, because it's only doing the Chroma subsampling on the. Um, oh, it is doing it on the. Um, on the graphics card side and then sending it to the display but it's like it's one where it's like i don't think your game performance really varies if you're doing a different color space i don't think it really matters much like it might just get done at the end um like you convert an rgb image into a um a subsampled image uh let's check this here are they gonna run into that no, it's, it's a tiny tower. Tiny tower. Boom, girl, let's just do a rain. It's Paul Collins. You can find out about your employees. Let's just rename him, bro. The buttons at the bottom lets you fire them, pick them up. <clears throat> Am I gonna name everyone after a musician? Maybe. This ride is falling apart. I'm surprised it hasn't broken down already. Click the call mechanic button to have it fixed. Asteroid Andy, everyone's favorite level from uh, Earthworm Jim 2. <laughs> or 1, sorry. Kick them all off, get them upset. They deserve it. They went to a theme park and decided to look at a TV. I There's a surprising number of theme park rides now that aren't like physical. I mean, they, they'll rock you around and stuff, but like. There's a lot of ones where it's like they do the virtual screen, and I guess it's always been a thing. Like, I keep asking, um, like, my parents would keep saying that Star Tours is like, that's a really old ride, and it is that, basically. In fact, it's even a space ride, it's even better. Um, but it's like Star Tours always was like a virtual projected uh, thing, but even, like, uh, even the features I think have I went features. to, um, Alien bubbler? This is just a fountain, bro. It's just a fountain. Still, chuck it there. Oh my goodness. This this is the real Mike Wazowski. That is oh, what is he doing with his thumbs? Is he gonna, like, spray stuff out of his top? Is he gonna do it? Hello, Blub. How are you doing, by the way? You want to know the secret I just glanced over. Most out of your employees. Give them some oh, direction. Oh, oh. Don't eat it. Don't eat it. You're doing good? Nice. Nice. Hope you appreciate the future. It's been so long since the last stream. Everyone said the air humidity has to be like 100% at almost 30 degrees. Ah, uh, dude. Okay, legit. Like, I'll, I'll meme a little bit because here in Australia, it's like, dude, if you get a summer that doesn't hit 30 degrees at some point, like, you know, something's wrong with that summer. Um, we had a really cold winter because we had Antarctic winds come up and, like, relatively cold. So it's like, uh, here in the city, it's like, it would get to 10. I think 10 degrees was the coldest. It's usually sitting around, like, 12. 
very cold for us. We're not really rugged up for that. In the same way, people in the Northern Hemisphere, it's like, dude, if you're getting 30, like, you know, it's, it's very bizarre. And, you know, you're probably not used to it. You're probably, like, you know, at lack of air conditioning or other kind of cooling things. Like, yeah, sure, 30 degrees will kind of bite you if you're not really prepped for it. Um, if you've got a good fan, should be all right. Should be all right. Um, above 25 degrees, it's hot. See, I'm probably roasting myself right now in a room that's above 25 degrees. And I'm like, dude, this is like a normal temperature for me. Like, I'm not even, like, sweating. I, it takes a while to get me to sweat. I am not a, I am not a very easy sweater. Yeah, I'll just chuck the tree next to it. That is a very creepy tree. Oh, the park value is really features. killing. Maybe you should research some more. I, I'm trying to research some more. Uh, but... The toilets are getting dirty. You should check that a cleaner is patrolling and have him pop in. He's pooping in. Oh, well, I'll, I'll say that. Um... I think pi equals four things Archimedes is struggling. With so many of the toilets closed, they're just there are to four the toilets happy. and there are dry. three people. There are three toilets and there are two toilets remaining. I guess I'll probably get another janitor already. Listen, they were in the video at the beginning. Might as well have another one. Uh, although I guess they're kind of being bit by a toilet on this side, aren't they? Yeah. But yeah, yeah, like, uh, I guess what's the uh, temperatures, high humidity is a bit of a killer sometimes, I will say that. Usually in Australia it's not, you don't get 100% humidity very often, um, but, uh, then it's like, um, I was chatting to my, uh, grandfather about this, um, and it's like in Malaysia, it's like, dude, you, it gets 30 degrees, and it's just constantly, like, sweaty hot. And it, and also it never stops being thirty degrees. It's always thirty the degrees the entire the entire year. The so hasn't met your scientists. Chuck a balloon shop in there. Oh, wrong button. A new set of shops. A uh, whole new genre of shopping has become available to research. <laughs> Clips my burger. Some joker is littering around your park. See if you can get a cleaner over there to clean up his mess. Oh, he's going. He's going okay. He's, he's doing his part. Mm. Yeah, I, I guess to retrospect just on the rest of this game, like, this game is neat. I like it. It's a bit simple. It's obviously, I, I guess, um, surpassed by Roller Coaster Tycoon in terms of the technical aspects. Um, and also, I feel like Roller Coaster Tycoon, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon lets you, like, I, I was gonna say, it lets you kill kids. Therefore, it's a better game. Um, it it is a wild game, but I would definitely say the the main part of Roller Coaster Tycoon, the roller coasters, it's just it's so well fleshed out. At least for its time, they get and they get even better. This game, it is fairly neat that the roller coasters, you know, you can pop the pylons down all over the place, and you know, it'll figure it out. But I just kind of pop the pylons in, and then the game kind of just tells me that the ride is fun anyways. It doesn't really matter too much unless you make it... No, it, it really doesn't matter. I think you can you can make the excitement a little more, but the game kind of plays itself. But yeah, you're definitely right, where it's like... Uh, well, actually, you say this wrote on the success of it, but this game came out the same year as Roller Coaster Tycoon, and is the sequel to a 1994 game that uh, was the creation of the, th the the theme park sim game effectively. The original theme park. Roller Coaster Tycoon is one of those games that is just a technical marvel. Us kids back then did not realize how privileged we were to have that game. Uh, oh, it's it's certainly it. Um, Roller Coaster Tycoon looks older because this is in 3D, so this makes you think that it's a bit newer, but Roller Coaster Tycoon is... Um, it's certainly, like, well put together for most its... Give them some direction. I guess for its presentation, because it doesn't feel like much, because it's all in 2D isomorphic, uh, isomorphic, iso isometric, um, kind of view. Uh, but it is, um, like, the number of sprites, the number of angles every single, like, ride goes through, it's so incredibly detailed. And it's actually, put, like, rocking a lot of crazy good sprite work, uh, for making it work. Um, have you ever played Transport Tycoon? 
Um, there's only like eight angles of like vehicles. It's like they're either facing like you know towards you and then diagonally and then perpendicular and so on. But like roller coaster tycoon, it's like there's I think there's 32 angles for every roller coaster, and then it properly lets you you know set the sprite colors for certain bits and um, you know there's different roller coaster rides. Uh, all have to be sprite drawn. Ah, oh, they're hating it. They're hating it. No, because my value is just struggling. 40 bucks? You accept 40? Okay. I'm going to be suffering on this part. Scientists have come up with a new ride. But I've got Hoverbot Havoc. Let's do it. It's another spinning ride? Really? We're going, we're going for more spinning rides. Sure. Hoverbot Havoc. That's a kind of neat ride, though. Uh, now, of course, I think this game had a direct sequel called, um, uh, well, in the US it was called Sim Coaster, and in, I, I guess you gotta have, you gotta have Coaster in your name now, you gotta kind of compete on that, um, and, uh, I don't, I forgot what it was called, I think it was called Theme Park Inc. in, uh, in Britain land, um, I never played it, I also have not played the original. Um, also there's a uh, Theme Hospital, uh, which came out in like 96, as like a, um, a kinda, you know, it, cause it wasn't really like, Theme Park was the franchise, it was more just the simulation kind of game that Bullfrog were making. Uh, so I think when EA acquired them, they kinda told them, no, you guys really gotta make a Theme Park game, cause Theme Park games sell really well. Um, and then, unknown to them, became Roller Coaster Tycoon and probably one of the most influential PC games of all time. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Whoops, it happens. Um, Sim Hospital, or Theme Hospital, uh, I think actually has, has the spiritual the successor you know, of Two Point Hospital, which was made by, I know it's published by Sega, on. I don't know who made Let's it exactly, off the top of my head. Take a look. Um, but I really like this idea of like games having these spiritual sequels or spiritual like um, revitalized games. Um, I wanted to say Amplitude made it, but I feel like Amplitude only make games that start with Endless. Except they did make uh, was it um, Humankind, which I have no idea if anyone likes. I don't know anyone who's played it. This is a list. Oh, and and Dungeon Keeper was Bullfrog as well, and and you know. It's it, Dungeon Keeper is, I feel like, a very similar game. Um, perhaps Populous has some similarities. I couldn't quite get into it. I only, like, kind of ran it for a bit. Uh, Dungeon Keeper 1 and 2. Evil, Gen Evil Genius um, was not them, though. Uh, I think it was published by Rebellion. I forgot who made it. Um, unless it was Rebellion. But it does... I, I, I have played Evil Genius for, like, two hours. And I'll definitely say, yeah, no, it's, it feels like it's a bullfrog game. It's definitely got a lot of that vibe. Scientists have that wonky kind of polygonal vibe. Okay, so UFO Blaster. Disease, that is UFO uh, in a, like, organized camel case. As in, you don't, you a keep the FO lo lowercase. I have not designed this park very well. I'm just <laughs> tucking it around the back there. No one will notice. You've got a lot of happy visitors, and it's almost won you a Oh boy, are we really doing this? Are we getting told that there's a... Faces and it'll be yours. That I'm about to get the golden ticket, and we're gonna constantly tell me about this? People are just unhappy. Why? Are they not unhappy at the front, right? Some little horror has put a stink bomb in your park. Oh well. Oh, you should get it cleaned up uh, let's do some patrol set. areas for the cleaners, because there's a lot of them. So, we'll have one man here. And then... One man. It looks like you want to set this employee's yeah. control area first, which is kind of the whole park. So, <laughs> sure. I do like, um, and I feel like if there's one thing, consoles never, they never got these simulation games controlled quite right. There's just nothing as easy as taking a mouse and pointing them. Uh, Rebellion Developments bought Elixir's intellectual property in March 2006, including Evil Genius. But the game Evil Genius, it came out in like 2003 or 2004. Um, the sequel, from like two years ago, I think, uh, is definitely still them. So, well, it's definitely Rebellion, so. Uh, Curious that all ends up like that. 
all these like companies seem to keep acquiring all these like intellectual properties and then uh, in EA's case uh, people absolutely I love this right this sideshow by the way it's like what is it they gotta blast the the UFOs I guess that's the name of the game isn't it he's doing it he's doing it he's going for it uh, but you know what I mean like uh, like uh, what was it embracer group now owns like uh, IDOS Montreal. Remember when I said apparently the guy at the AI of the creature in black and white was the one involved in Google Deep Mind? You can view and edit the details of a site show on the screen. Holy crap, I just realized the game costs 10 bucks, but then you win 100 bucks. That's what? the price of the game. It's crazy. Uh, after graduating from Cambridge, uh, Hassabus works at Lionhead Studios. Games designer Peter Molyneux, with whom Hassabus had worked at Bullfrog Productions, had recently founded the company. Lionhead Hassabus works as lead AI programmer on the 2001 god game Black and White. I appreciate the uh, the hyperlinks in there as well. I love Wikipedia. It's a it's a wonderful site. Um, there are fun things going on about things being edited under your nose. Uh, so he worked at Bullfrog and worked at Lion's Head. Ah, so... Okay, so that actually makes sense. That it shares a designer between the games. That's a fun one. Because, like, what's, um... What's another game where it's, like, the designer jump between companies and you can clearly tell he's, like, a, le a real, like, pioneering designer? I want to say, um... Uh... I'm going to say, like, John Romero, I guess. I'll just say that. But, I don't know, man. What has he done since Daikatana? It was more just like he left id, and then Daikatana was very much, you know, a game that he would work on. It's very much his game. His baby. But that, that's one thing I love. And whenever you get a game that, you know, it's either like it's a spiritual sequel, or a spiritual successor, and then it's like it's legitimately got talent from the time, You've got a good shot, I'm not going to say all the time, but you've got a good shot that it is um, a thing. Daikatana 2 might be happening. I'm I'm cautiously optimistic because, like, Daik of course, Daikatana 1 is a not a good game. Um, the, the, the biggest problem with Daikatana is that everyone stops at the first episode. And also, the save crystal system is kind of jank. Um, but... The second episode is legit really good. It's a fair fine shooter at times. It's just not consistently a fair fine shooter. And it also ends really atrociously. Uh, but it's like, it's got really good bits in it. Um, there's, I know the ones that uh, let you quick save anywhere, although you still gotta like, sit through these horrendous loading times. I don't know why, it, it took horrendously so long for me. Uh, run out of custom resolution. I know John Romero uh, spoke of a version 1.5 fan patch. Uh, I never really had an issue with the escort stuff though. It never felt like too bad for me. Um, I think it's because, yeah, I, think, I, I probably think the fan patch sorted that out, but um... Look out! Oh boy. You've got a ride that's about to break down. Oh boy. Oh, double boy. Double boy. That is a big boy, double boy. Wow, everything takes so long to, to research, doesn't it? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have changed all the priorities of things. I guess I've researched all the side shows and go, ah, yes. Yeah. Here's the rest of the stuff. But, you know, Daikatana, it's like, it's. I, I think it's like better even than saying bad in execution good in practice because i think there's some things in sorry that's the same thing bad bad in theory um i think there's some things that don't work in theory i think escort stuff like never works i am a proud advocate of saying i don't like bioshock infinite i don't like the escort part of that and i say that knowing entirely well that elizabeth doesn't exist in space she will always be behind you. She will never get shot. She's like completely out of the game. But that's my problem is that, well, okay, like, is it really an escort thing or is it kind of just here's a contextually relevant person? That's, that's kind of what I mean. Um, escort stuff can work. Um, 
yeah, es escort stuff can work, and I think, like, in Daikatana's case, it's not the worst, but I feel like you've got to take center charge, and sometimes they do get in the way. Sometimes the level design does kind of let the characters get in the way too much. Um, I'm trying to think, what's another escort, like, level? And I thought, hey, this is actually, like, good. I'm gonna say the Glowbox level in, in Rayman 2. Does anyone remember that? Where it's like, Glowbox keeps getting scared, and then you gotta, like, stop the pirates around him, and then you gotta, you know, revisit him, and then get him to use his magic to destroy something. A new feature has um, been researched. You gotta spend a lot of effort on design a lot of gameplay the around the escort. Features. Yeah, there's, like... There's a lot of eh, examples of escorts. Um, how about let's pop this here and then move the path to the staff room, which is exactly what the staff want. We move in the path to it. That is a rock, really? I think the other thing with escort stuff is that you get like the the very tacked on examples. Like um, there are certainly escort missions in Grand Theft Auto. Um, and sometimes you get reverse escort where you're being led by someone, but you can't go up too close or else I'll see you, which I feel like plays the same. Um, Project Nomads. I think I know it by name only. I don't I don't quite remember what it was about. Uh, how's the... Oh boy. How's the people in the park while we're at it? Not amazing. What is this number? Is that actually... Does that say 131 or 191? I think that's 131. The scale is a bit weird. Ah, see, this is that's what's hurting. But the average time in parks getting good. So, also, uh, yeah, no, I guess. Uh, man, people finding the park stinky. You've built all of the available yeah, features. It's, uh, Maybe uh, it's a Project Nomads, more. where you have a flying island, you fortify with towers, and it's an amazing concept. I might be a bit biased as I'm a sucker for floating island shattered world settings. I don't think I've played too many, like, floating island kind of games. Apart from the aforementioned Bioshock Infinite, I guess. <laughs> you know, one thing I, I really found on the internet, and it's actually kind of like grinding my gears a little bit, is, uh... Not many, and uh, I think I know almost all I know of. Yeah, yeah, you might, you might already have all of them on the belt. Uh, one thing that irks me is the amount of recency bias. Uh, I know I just cited Bioshock Infinite, um, but uh, I feel like uh, there's certain online discussions and like people only really think of the games that are uh, like pretty much on the last console generation and not really before it. Unless they're being ported or remastered or whatever. If they're somewhat available on the newer platform, sure. But even then, there's a lot of older releases. Um, it is it is old in the sense of it came out what like March 2013. That's nine and a half years old almost. Uh, it's it's definitely on the up, on the uh, up with the uh, getting old. Um, also, I guess to to make it double old, I guess uh, it's still running on Unreal 3. Um, the Unreal 4 engine was announced, I think, the year before. Um, and, uh, well, we're now in Unreal 5, although Unreal 5 kind of feels like about the same. Uh, it is as old as Morrowind when, uh, Bioshock Infinite came out. Um, I think, uh, yeah, there was only one release of Skyrim at the time. The, uh, the special version was, uh, uh, 2016, and I think that was the version for PS4 and Xbox One, which was fairly late in those console generations. Everyone always notes Skyrim because it's been re-released a lot of times, um, but, like, uh, you know what I mean, where it's like, uh, like, what's another game that is really good, um, of the generation before, and it's just like, people forget about it. I always note, um, uh, Race Driver Grid as, like, a really solid racing game. Um, obviously Grid 2, uh, was released fairly later, um, and then everyone knows Grid Auto Sport, and then Grid 2019, and Grid Legends, but, like, Grid, Race Driver Grid from 2008, I think, is remarkably neat of a game. It's got a, like, a Le Mans, like, mode with a proper day-night cycle. It's, it's really neat. The staff are happy. Well, I, if you keep I, happy, I would say Race Driver Grid is, like, a fairly unique game because, uh, they, 
the sequel came out so long after it, and it's a fairly different game to the games before it. Um, Skyrim coming to the Game Pass. Is it already in the Game Pass? Is it not? That's amazing if it's not. Um, but like, uh, oh, what's another one? What's another, another game off the top of my head? Old meme? Oh, my, I, I just got boomered. Oh, no. <laughs> Happened years ago. Oh, no. I got caught out. I'm just constantly dripping money, I swear. Oh, but my park value did go up. Purely because I built a gift shop. Gift shops are On good, though. Screen, Look at that. That's some good money. Details of a shop. <clears throat> uh, I should really up the price. I feel like I'm cheating because now I know that the park value directly corresponds to the amount of, like, the ticket price you can set. Red Eye Todd Howard with subtitles, something along the line. Now Skyrim is released infinitely. Oh, true. True. It's such a gutsy move that, like, one Microsoft thought they could buy Zenimax. And not, not just Bethesda, but Zenimax. The entire whole thing. Uh, killing the fun facts of the joke because I don't remember. Hey, I mean, it's in spirit, it's fine. <laughs> um... But they, they bought them and then expect to then sell their Game Pass, which I keep getting promotions for buying it for $1 all the time. So I've literally only like gotten it for $1, then not played it for like a year and a bit, and then I come on again after $1, like that kind of stuff. I got it for $1 to play Forza Horizon 5, which was like November last year, and now it's just like it's come up again. Um, I guess a lot of people do buy the Game Pass, they do say it's profitable, which is... Weird? I guess it gets a lot of people. Some and it gets Xbox people. That's that's See another thing. Cleaner over there to clean up his mess. Uh but yeah, no, crazy. Um I'm trying to think, what's another one? Eureka! We've discovered Ooh, a new ride. Missile Madness. Ah. What better what better to do than to get people concerned about the Cuban missile crisis? Nothing's more futuristic than uh, I'll just I will literally add Cuban to the front of this topical. I know Cuban missile madness. Wonderful. Uh, what's another really good game? Um, I'm a big sucker for Rayman Legends. I'm a big sucker for um, Talos Principle, which is it's not even the console gem before. I really like that one. Um, there aren't enough mechanics to service oh, all true, I've got lots of rides Maybe now. you should think about hiring some more. I, uh, Ross Dearsley, you got this. One of the best things about recent Microsoft is that because of the weakness of the Xbox compared to the PlayStation, they decided to cater to both the PC and Xbox crowd, which is a good thing for gaming. It is a, it is a very good thing for gaming. They've done, they've done a very, like, um, well, <laughs> as a, as a PC gamer who doesn't have an Xbox, it seems like a very good thing because it's just like, hey, like, my platform of choice gets all the games, and their platform of choice, surprisingly, gets all the games as well. They have homogenized both systems so well that it's like, oh, you know, it takes very little effort for them to bring a PC game to Xbox and vice versa. And having things like cloud streaming, um, you know, as, as an option, it's like, sure, okay, like, I can play some Xbox games on my PC, and they can play some PC-ish game. well, I guess, maybe, depends. Um, Ooh. Is this doing okay? That's doing okay. Maybe I could go to 50. Uh, but yeah, I do. I do think Sony was doing better. Um, they're surprisingly neck and neck in terms of hardware sales, like the PlayStation and the the Xbox One. The Xbox One was not popular at launch at all. It, it launched at a higher price, it had the Kinect bundled with it, which was very needless, and everyone kind of, you know, now looks at it and goes, what the heck? Um, and uh, also, Sony was really good at going, well, games will be, you know, always online is not a is not a requirement, and yeah, they target a lower price point. They won for the first year, but it settled, it settled out so much over time, and especially given how Microsoft did change their approach, uh, and of course, you know, not bundling the Kinect with stuff, uh, but when the Xbox One X came out and the PS4 Pro, suddenly a lot of people looked and said, the One X makes a lot more sense than the PS4 Pro. Um, uh, I, 
uh, oh, about like not bundling the connect anymore. Yeah, they like they abandoned the connect like a year and stuff in. Um, thing is though, yeah, you only hear about the first year. That is that is one thing. Like if there's one thing, one great meme I love is uh, like people lining up to buy the Xbox One in Japan, aka the two people. It's it's so it's sold like legit like a thousand or a couple thousand units in like the first week in Japan, which is incredibly, incredibly um, little. There we go, look at that, secret upgrade. Uh, the Kinect is good for something. Uh, oh yeah, 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 the Kinect is great for that. The um, I think the PlayStation Move was really good for um, like hand motion tracking. It was surprisingly good at the time. Um, but yeah, no, the Kinect was really good on that one, and uh, um, having like just lots of sensors in an array like that. Um, I think even the PS3 is also quite notorious for being a really cheap cell architecture computer, which meant that if you homebrewed it and ran Linux on it, some workloads were incredibly efficient at running on it than buying an equivalent computer. So people would just distribute the heck out of it. And then they had a problem with people scalping PS3s to, um, effectively, you know, be render farms rather than actually, uh, gaming systems. Kind of like how GPUs got all bought out. Linux is good. I shall- I don't have any hard preference on whether Linux- I really like Windows, and I'm not saying this is like a weird fanboy, but I legit think that Windows, like, works a lot better than some people give it credit for. Um... A lot of oh yeah, and we deploy Linux so, so to so many places. It's very rare that you see um, anything other than Linux in deployed scenarios now, because a lot of people are moving into cloud solutions. Um, so you're obviously you're going to be running just you know what's the lightest thing you can have, and it's Linux stripped down to its to its essentials. Because the nice thing about Linux is that you can install it and then have absolute knowledge on like what everything is doing. Mac. Windows, they do like having a bit of black box nature to them, um, and uh, like Windows will like, you know, also they'll both auto update. That's what I mean, it's just they'll naturally just pull new stuff. Even if they don't ask you, they will do it. I get irritated about my Mac sometimes. I download a program and then it just tells me that I cannot run it at all, and then I've got to try and run it like from a different prompt, and then it lets me do it. Uh, some some IT student somewhere was like, surely it can't be that hard to install Linux on a mainframe. Use some Linux distribution and only had to rewrite all the hardware code and boom, it runs on mainframe. And IBM is promoting There's it. There's a young scallywag going round popping kids balloons. You should get a I, o I always am too. surprised by like how, uh, I was going to say like, I, like my NAS lets me SSH has into it. Been and I could probably run something on the NAS. Yeah, um, which is amazing that you're like, you can do that. Um, but like, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like, you know, the fact that things run on Linux means that things do run, you know, on various machines because they all run the same kind of rough hardware. You might need to change bits. Of course, the mainframe is fairly different, but ultimately your operating system your should be, about to break down. Take cover. Your, your operating system should be an abstraction. Well, you could so the strength of Linux is that the abstraction is very explicit. It's very there. So it's, it's not too hard for, and also it's incredibly um, widely used. So I'm not too sure if it's well documented. I'm not gonna go as far as saying that, um, but I'll definitely say that like, it's very easy for people to have examples of how to work with it and to find people who do work with it. It's so commonplace now that it's just like, yeah, okay, sure. Um, and also, yeah, again, that abstraction, it's like, you know, there's the people who write the software for it, and then the people who write the OS to interact with hardware, um, and maybe people who figure out how to, you know, bridge the two some, in some ways, uh, but a lot of people, you know, only have to know part of the equation, so, ArchWiki is in the Linux <laughs> A lot of happy visitors, I, I always I always hear that Arch is ticket. apparently spooky, but Smiles really all I feel it is is that it's yours. a very minimum version of Linux and then you're kind of forced to do some of the steps that other people do for you, like sticking a package manager on there or um, your own window manager, we'll just go with that. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 
I all I can say is I've tried Arch like once. That's it. Uh, A new shop has been. I I am I am one person who would definitely say that. Uh, I think Lubuntu was my go-to distro at a uh, uni. Except I would also remote into my home computer a lot because I I did kind of like the Windows environment. Uh, oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, oh, that's good too. That's good too. Uh, why are you bands were not Debian? Uh, I think Debian had a thing going on with um. If you get a good number of people into this, I think it was just the package manager. But like, this was not Ubuntu, but Lubuntu, which is a. Uh, it was a fork that had a very like. Um, I think it was using. Uh, what's it? I. My brain is wanting to say XCFE as its window manager instead of the, um, not, it's not GNOME, it's some other one, uh, that they're using. Um, Debian is kind of old. Um, and also Debian, and I found out the hardware at, uh, work, uh, We've got oh, trouble, boss. <coughs> All right, oh is about wrong to one, wrong down. one. Uh, except it was this right, so, uh, I found out, uh, I replaced the X with an L, um, Although I know Zubuntu, Zubuntu is also a, a, a decent one. Um, but we, we had a problem at work where uh, we had to... Um... That's going to drop me into debt, isn't it? Cool. Uh, we had to upgrade like a version of Postgres, and uh, we were not on um, version Bullseye of... Uh, of um, Debian, and so it was just like that version of Postgres just didn't exist in the, You're picking up the game uh, in the You're regular apt repository. It's and then Postgres, like necessary. on their website, it was just like, hey, if you use Debian, don't use the official like thing at our repo and install from there. Uh, and I'm just like, really? Two hundred fries. Let's do it. Let's do it. Build another fry shop. Oh, except this one over there. Uh, pop one here. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entertainer. We're talking about very fancy thing. of cultural deprivation. Uh, one Ubuntu version is based on stable demi. I mean, Ubuntu, like. Visitors are grumbling about your house. Oh, no. They're not going to be able to buy the cost. chips if they're not coming into the park. Ah. Um, Postgres is, uh, it's tried and true, and I'll just say that, but it, it, different database systems are for different things. Um, uh, I was going to say as well, we were, um, uh, at another work, we were on CentOS, um, which is just, uh, it, it's like a community-driven Red Hat fork, and, uh, like, that's the thing, is that, like, all of the we don't features. use Debian too much, but a lot of, like, a lot of distros are Debian-based. Uh, a new feature yeah, Ubuntu, <sighs> snaps are weird. Why? Even the I feel, I feel like, features. you don't really need snaps, because, like, well, maybe. I don't, I don't hate the idea of snaps, I gotta think more about it. Some is popping uh, how's the fries? Have a guard go over and stop this I'm gonna need nonsense. some more. I'm gonna need some more fries, but it's not looking the worst. How much for a fry shop? Seven fifty. Maybe I could build another one. Let's build another one. More fries. You, Rika. We've discovered a new We've ride. Discovered a new ride. Oh wait, wait. Hang We've on. researched a new ride. Uh, Great. Ah, that's good too. Uh. Yeah, Postgres is pretty pretty reliable though, I find. Like, it, it does the job. Um, having schemas is always, you know, I, I find better than no schemas. I'm not the... I feel like, you know, you, you could use Redis if you really want to do stuff that's quick. Um, and technically not persistent because Redis is not a database technically. Um, but uh, if you did want to do something really quick, uh, I'd also just say use an ORM and then a very lightweight database. Maybe um, SQLite. Some people like uh, NoSQL. Um, but yeah, yeah, Postgres is... It is overkill for some things. Um, but it's it's certainly tried and true, although I think it did have a bug at some point. Actually, no, sorry. Uh, also, hey, that's all. How's it going? I remember. Actually, this is this one is amazing. Um, Postgres 
does not support the entire Unicode width, unless you, like, with, uh, I think they've got a, a type called Varchar, which is variable, like, string. Um, and, uh, and for some odd reason, there is a commit that still exists in the code that said the width of a character is three bytes, and Unicode requires four bytes to be full width. Um... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you shouldn't be using big int when int is enough. There's there's a lot of times when, like, yeah, some people have kill types. But yeah, with Varchar, the bytes, the, the characters can only store three bytes, and that trims out content sometimes. And it's purely because some guy changed it from six bytes to three bytes at some point, and they've not changed it back for the last 15 years. You can find the commit that does that, and people have gone, have looked at it and gone, what are you doing Postgres? Because now I have to use like, a, there's a different type, which is like wide, wide Varcha or something. I forgot what it was. But yeah, if your, if your like database requires you to put in Unicode st strings, you can't use Varcha. They broke it on people. It's amazing. These no one is buying my fries. No one's buying my fries. On screen, you can view and you encourage more people to buy fries. I guess to just pick it up. On Listen, I'm paying money to do this, but hopefully it encourages people to have fries. How about let's drop the price to 20 bucks, because that's the price of the goods, so... I appreciate this button. Uh... No one is buying my fries. I'm very upset. These messages help you stay on top of new developments. To look at related information or to close or delete the message, click on the button. Did you just walk in and then not buy the fries? You just walked in and said, oh, it looks okay. I've got three fry shops. It's not enough. We, ne we gotta put in a big tree. That's the only way to make it out alive, apparently. Let's chuck it here. That is a very spooky looking tree, I'll tell you that. Well, this is very spooky. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I don't think I'm gonna make 10,000 bucks. Or 10, 10, yeah. Which is a shame. It's a shame. I'm struggling hard on this one, apparently. Ah. Oh. There are areas of the park that aren't being patrolled by an entertainer, and people there are starved for amusement. Uh, let's get a the other Duncan Duncan Donuts. It looks like okay. you want to set this employee's patrol area. He gets to also be over there, sure. Uh, let's get the let's get these guys arranged as well. So I think there's like three rides over here, and then this guy can go over here. Oh, they've researched a new. Oh my gosh, they're actually hating the current value. Really, the park is just eternally losing money. 41 bucks, take it or leave it. Okay, now they're going in. Remember hearing that you can just make the fries extremely salty and then put a drink so- Oh, can you actually do that? Okay, so make it 25 bucks and then I'm gonna- I'm gonna do the cheeky strat. I'm gonna do that. I do know that's like a roller coaster tycoon thing, but I'm curious if that actually works in this game as well. Let's be even, let's put a drink shop next to all of them as well. So, uh, are all my... They're all 25 bucks. What does the ice actually mean? Like, I guess it reduces the cost of your products? Cost of your goods? I don't know what it actually does. Uh, I am probably going to drop in the red briefly. But... <sighs> I had 90 days, and I'm only halfway now, and I've got only... 20% of my time left. To hurry you, but you're running out of time to complete your challenge. Thank you for reminding me that I literally just am not going to make this challenge work. People just don't want the fries, apparently. That was 90 days, and I sold 108 fries. 107 fries. Uh, last episode. It is the last episode, because this is the last park in the game. The space park. And it's kind of all... All the levels are kind of the same, to some degree. Uh, but that's okay, um, because yeah, I, I've, I've kind of shown off most of the game. Like, you're seeing all the parks, you're seeing kind of the, 
A new feature you know, has been the riots as I'm, I'm know, going across them, uh, I can put I'll in the crater. To the feature and there you go, I pop it in. Let's sit down right here. Feature and take a load of. That barely even looks like a feature. <laughs> that's just... That's, uh... You can view the details that's amazing. That's items on this screen. Use the buttons... That costs 125 bucks. Look out! Look out! She's Look out! Blow. She's gonna blow! You've got oh my goodness. Break down. What was the one with the upgrade? No. No. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entertainer. No one even worked on that. I think they looked at it and said, you can't even afford that. You're buying too many drink shops. I'm curious whether this is actually working, the drink shop thing. Let's go into the this menu just to see. Profit last month. Uh, it actually could be working. It actually could be working. I'm going to go up to here. I decided I came in late, missed out on my favorite world. Listen, you to be the bearer of bad news, but you failed to complete your challenge. Better luck next time. Oh no. Nah. But uh nah, it's okay. If you if you miss part of the stream, you can always watch back later. And very importantly for this one, uh you can kind of see the uh park as it grows anyways. Um so don't worry. Uh <laughs> The flying cars the flying car from the Jetson. From the Jetso. That's the one. The flying car from the Jetso. Got, uh, go get people to charge their phones so they can buy hot chips. Oh, true. Do people, I, I'm curious, like, I, I'm very fortunate that my phone lasts forever. Like, I don't know, I don't know, like, maybe if I'm really, like, using it all the time. Hot chips in your area. This is probably the amount of response I'd imagine if I said that to a crowd of people. Where are people currently situated? I should should I never know if security really like does anything. I'm trying to like envision in my head like what's the oh wait so if people are densely around here. I guess that's probably because I position a lot of the park like the right entrances there. People are generally happy with uh, stuff, okay. And then people are happy not on the right side. And then this is excitement ratings. Excitement ratings, really? This is, this is an ice cream shop. How exci it's not exciting, apparently. I think the drink shop strat is actually working. Like, well, let's go into the finances a bit. Uh, like the shop takings, that actually might be doing okay. No, the problem is I spend more, so. Eureka! Hoverbot Havoc! Oh, wait, hang on. With research to Which one is Hoverbot Havoc? Oh, that's good too. Ah, here we go. Uh, I guess I can't afford that with my $200. Imagine owning a theme park and being like, I have $200. Make it 300. I'm relying on this sucker to spend $75 on a gift. A new century, there are areas of the park that haven't seen yeah. Well, no, this game's been been fun. And I'm glad that I've, like, you know, I've had the opportunity to show the off. Are getting dirty. And the toilets are getting dirty. And have them pop in. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful toilet. How about let's put another one in? You never have enough toilets apparently in this game. People queue up for them everywhere. Has anyone got a key to this? Anybody? Anyone? Yeah, another toilet. Be happy. A lot of the toilets are closed and 1700s money. I I actually I love how so many of these games have like wild wild like scale. It's like I mean, blame Monopoly for that. It's like you like the original versions of Monopoly. It's it's like 20 pounds for a street. You own the street for 20 pounds. And then it's like they convert it into American ones, and it's just like it's now dollars, so it's even worse. Broken down and the mechanics are all busy. Maybe you should hire some more? Where are the mechanics right now? Resting. Resting. To cancel this. 
Man, that was unfortunate. Maybe it's because I've got the... I've got the, uh... Staff room over on the other side. Details of a staff room and see who's inside. To choose a different type of Does that fire them or does that kick them out? The list. Oh, it deletes the staff room. Never mind. The room or move it. You can rename. <laughs> well, that's all the sideshows, so that's neat. Uh, there's my lack of money. I assume that was because it was the beginning of the month. And I just paid all my staff. The mysteries of a new shop. <laughs> but yeah, no, saying? like Monopoly's crazy. And then they've tried to fix it by putting an M at the end of the the stuff. So instead, you're pay, you're spending like you twenty million Monopoly dollars Do for the street. Build some more drink um, shops? One of these games would uh, be like today, where they give you excessive control. Um, oh, like a theme park game? One of your rides has broken down, but a mechanic is on yeah, the way I, to fix it. Oh, he's on it now. Okay. Well, you should build more drink shops. Oh. Oh no! You're out of money. If you lose money for six months, you'll be bankrupt. So, quick, take out a loan. I'm, I'm good, man. Unless my my loan options completely vanish when I don't. I think you my, your loan options, like, loan. you get more loan options as the game goes through, but I'll be fine. I'll be up in the green in no time. There you go. See, easy. Um, yeah, Planet Coast is a, a game that comes to the there top of my mind. Of um, being by an my only issue with Planet Coast really is that the scenarios aren't as fun as... Um, uh, the original Roller Coaster Tycoons, that's the only thing. And also, have, has anyone played Thrillville? That, like, that game is amazingly, like, a missed opportunity. It's, it's like, I would have thought, it's like, oh, it's console Roller Coaster Tycoon. But it's not. It's a mini-game collection has been that just so happens to have a Why? Roller Coaster creator. Features have new features. But you, you don't actually run a park. Like, you do, technically, but you don't really. You, you just talk to people and do mini games, and then you've done it. You don't. You don't even have to focus on doing the park at all. Oh, Ronald Reagan's leaning on the button again. Here he goes. Send everyone to space. Okay. Well, I would like to have some money, so maybe I'll this curb back <laughs> spending. Your scientists have come up with a new raid. Okay. I want to build space balls. I want to build space balls. I, I want to. I, it, it's it's there. It's got space ball. I don't even have to change the name or joke on it. It's just it's space balls. The ride. So are all the people leaving? Are they all upset? They are all upset. I guess that's the only reason why you leave. This screen lets you see. It's hungry, thirsty. Should have had some oak chalky milk. I am not sponsored by Oak Chalk Email. Take a loan. Hey, I could, but Spaceballs is only 750 bucks. I feel like I'll get that amount of There's money a bug running a at the moment. The uh, I prefer to buy the loan later. The mess. Unless it's like, well, I mean, you take out the loan and then you attract more people into the park, in which case, oh, okay, maybe you're right. Maybe you got a point. It's only 150 people in the park. I'm doing terribly on this one. One of your rides is about to break. Oh, I just take my staff again. Fine. Or I suppose you could fix Fine, it. you win. Uh, let's go with the lowest interest rate. Perhaps I commit hard to the 50,000, but it's 20%. We're out of money. Okay, let's do the it. The cupboard is bare and the till is empty. If you stay in the red for six months, you'll be bankrupt. So you'd better get a loan. Now I've got space balls. Look how amazing that is. Can I ride it? People think your food is great value. Nice one. <laughs> this is what am I looking at? What? What am I looking at here? Like I, I see what that is, but that is amazing. I'm being patrolled by major pockets of cultural deprivation. Like at least, at least these other rides, like they make sense when you're on them. Like this looks all right, but. Uh, yeah, no, Thrill, Thrillville, my favorite part of Thrillville is when you beat someone at the challenge and then you insult them to their face when you're done. It's, it's like, the writing is gnarly. They say crap a lot for a kid's game. It's very surprising. Uh, yeah, no, this, this ride is like, oh my goodness, this would actually make people sick. I apologize if this ride is making you sick, but wow. Wow. I think the part that's like real confusing is just the angle. The angle is bizarre. So, 
Anyway, neat park, neat ride. Uh, so, uh, oh, the Moon Rock Cafe. Let's let's pop a cafe in. Uh, let's see if I can slot in here. The drink shop strat is actually working. I am impressed. Nice. Don't I'm not paying. I'm not paying attention to the to the rides needing fixing. Down, but a mechanic is on the way. Uh, rides. Yeah, no, I was the only one. Sure. Nine users in the last month, really? It supports sixteen people, and nine people got on it. You, you're kidding me? No one gets on this ride. Why? Maybe I gotta compare excitement. I don't know, man. People get on the Mike Wazowski ride somehow. It's like, is it even fun? Who knows? Uh, how do I attract more people into the park? Other than like doubling up on a ride. Like it's like, oh, it's a new ride. Is this safe, ca safe capacity one? Uh, excuse me. Oh yeah, you can't make it. How do you make this ride faster? Go for it, man. Gets people down there quicker. Sure. Uh, yeah. On on the topic of the um the idea that like Did you know that even now, people uh, century, only care about like games that came on the last generation. Uh, the thing I saw was uh, a, a a bit of a thread, and it's a thread because he used the thread emoji on Twitter of how wonderful The Last of Us. Um, re- what's- what's the name of it? The Last of Us PS5? How wonderful it is because it's got all of these new accessibility settings. And, in particular, uh, it's like, oh, it makes the game worth the 70 US dollars of entry because of the accessibility settings. There are people who can play the game now that couldn't before. Uh, to that I would go, okay, but like... I guess the people who couldn't before and now can play it they're not the people who are paying twice, I guess. The, 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 they wouldn't have paid the first time, they're paying just now. 70 bucks is a lot of money still. Um, they are, people are being encouraged to buy the game again, and that's the people who are kind of upset about having to buy the game again. And it's a full price re-release of the game. I don't hate the idea that the game is a full price, I just feel like, well, I mean, loyalty discount should be there for a reason. I'm, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, like, undoing the old version, uh, I guess it's not really, like, it's not really a big one, it's not like the old version is, um, obsolete, I guess, it's just, it's not on the PS3, or the PS4, if you've got the PS4 version of it, um, but then I wanted to focus on the, uh, accessibility settings, um, quite a bunch of the settings are just things that, like, I, I, I'm just gonna call remarketed? Um, some of them are like, oh, they're obviously things for accessibility. It's like reducing motion blur or turning off motion blur, increasing camera FOV, decreasing the number of, um, uh, like, camera movements, um, increasing, uh, like, color visibility of certain things. It's like, that's like, yeah, cool, sure, okay. And actually, I really do appreciate console games letting you change camera settings. I feel like every console game needs to, you know, do its best to... I'll just run to, to make uh, the, you know, the user experience as customizable as possible, to some degree. Take a uh, but then there's other ones that are just like... That's really noisy, isn't it? A new set of miscellaneous items has become available to research. There's still research in the costume shot. I think that's the last shot in the whole game. The last one! I guess that's all the side shows as well where I'm at it. Uh, let's, let's get the upgrade to this. Ah, uh, don't repair, you want to upgrade it. Need there a... are areas of the park that aren't being patrolled by yeah, an entertainer, I, I know. and people there are starved yeah. for amusement. Uh, I think they mentioned my favorite series, Earth Defense Force, and I have amazing accessibility stuff in them simply because they're already chaotic. Yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of games out there that, like, they do have good accessibility settings anyways. Um, some, little terrorists some people know the, the one in Forza Horizon 5 that just lets you play the game at a slow really speed. I feel like that's one where it's like... 
I don't know, because, because, like, it sounds like it's an accessibility thing, and it does make the game easier, and, you know, if you, if you can't react as fast, but then it's like, when you play online, it doesn't apply. I, f yeah, I feel like the science where it's like, you should have, like, you know, assists, things like that. Uh, e.g. each enemy has one very visible, visible death pose, as well as distinct death sound. Yeah, that's, and if anything as well, that's one where it's like, it's an accessibility feature that's not necessarily an option. It's just, it makes the game more accessible. It's like how in, uh, I, I love this, in Doom 1993, everything makes a unique sound. Mostly. Spectres, maybe not, but uh, but it's like you know everything looks different, sounds different, feels different. Uh, yeah, uh, but yeah, some of these are like uh, so some of the ones in The Last of Us, the new one or the old one, that's the new PS5 version, is just things like reduced enemy visibility, enemies don't grab you, puzzles can be skipped with a button, and I'm like. A, a lot of that just seems like a difficulty, like, setting, well, and not an accessibility setting, if you know what I mean. Like, like, five years ago, or ten years ago, I wouldn't have called them accessibility settings, I would have called them difficulty settings. It's like, you know, when Cuphead came out, and everyone would say, like, you know, Dean Takahashi can't believe he can't even get through this tutorial, and then a couple of articles came out saying, you know, how how bad it is that like oh if you, if you can't get past the tutorial that means your game is too hard and uh yeah it's amazing yeah, i will say that like accessibility does it does get overlooked in the sense of there's a lot of things that you can do um, in accessibility um to make your game you know so much better well it's so much better it does make it accessible more people can can, you know, access your game. I am, am I still spending more? I got, I was on that one. Uh, quick time events are pretty tricky. Quick time, yeah, quick time events are really tricky. Um, I like the ones where it's like there's audio cues, um, in, in The Last of Us thing. But yeah, like, some of, the, some of those are just lumped in. Uh, pockets of cultural deprivation. Uh, depends on what the lion fox fights. That was a reply. It was, uh, that's like okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's a degree of like what what does exist. I would say and as someone who hasn't played The Last of Us, I look at it and I go, is the game too hard with the puzzles? Is the game too hard if enemies grab you? Is the game too hard if enemies respond to you in certain ways that they don't when you've got the mode enabled? Uh, I think that there's a degree of, like, the game is not hard enough already, if that makes sense. Like, maybe, um, and, and possibly, and I, I know other games where it's like, uh, if you only have audio cues, someone that has hearing problems has trouble. Yeah, yeah, I, I'll definitely say that. Um, I think they've got things where it's like it adds audio cues if you're visually impaired. Um, I always worry, like, at some point... I'm gonna move away from that because that's very loud. At some point, it's like this is gonna sound incredibly elitist, but it's like it's a video game. It's it's like there is a visual element to it, and I do worry that like you we can't expect every game to translate well into a non-video format. If that like like that's that's the thing. I I I don't. I do want more games to support people who are unable to play certain games, but I don't think every game can be made the most accessible. I think it's something that we should strive to improve upon without necessarily, like, you know... I don't, I don't think it's, uh... the crazy, like, litmus test largest thing in the world. Um, and, uh, and then... Just to, just to go bonus points, I think we shouldn't treat accessibility set settings like these, you know, amazing things that games have not done in the past. Cough, cough, certain Twitter thread. Um, they got thousands of, tens of thousands of likes and various articles written about it for some reason. Oh my goodness, what is going on? Game journalism, jeez. Um, <laughs> but like, like... In, in the context of this one guy saying, now this makes the game worth $70, I kind of look at it, I go like, most of these are not for me. The accessibility settings means that more people can play the game, sure. 
but I don't think any accessibility like accessibility settings a new feature has been like restored. don't make everyone's experiences Why? better. Even the features have new features. And 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 I know it's like well maybe it's a elitist thing to say that. Um, uh, Look out! Yeah, yeah. Look out. Elden Ring's got some accessibility settings. You get a ride that's about to How does down. a slide break down? Actually, I, you'd be terrified if a slide broke down. Um, high contrast modes are, are nice. Um, yeah, games that are story driven. I think there's also games like um, rhythm games are just immediately like impossible to to have uh, accessibility modes that naturally work. Like. You can't do these game runs slower kind of things for rhythm games, for example. It's like the game is the game. You can have easier difficulties. Some you can design the game to be to have easier modes, but you get it ultimately get your hard oh, level of the game, your expert level, your whatever, is that. And, and of course, yeah, you're right. If the game is PvP, there are accessibility settings, because a lot of these ones are difficulty settings, um, that can't apply. They only apply as a you versus the computer thing. And if anything as well, there's a lot of games that did exist beforehand that had accessibility settings. You are entirely right, button remapping is one of the things that I think every game should strive to have. And button remapping exists in, it exists in a lot of PC games. Uh, I know it existed in Quake Two There's a little on the PS1, the I want to say off the top of my head, a handful of arcade games actually support button remapping. Um, but most don't. A lot of console ports of arcade games are pretty good at doing button remapping. You know what? I bet if you got a good crowd in here, you'd win a How much closer am I to the good crowd? I'm at 220 now. That's actually okay. Um, button remapping's one. Um, games with closed captions. That's you know that's something that surprisingly a lot of games didn't really like. They started it. They ignored for a bit. When voice acting became a thing, uh, yeah, World of Tanks, especially World of Warships, so efficient that, uh, with the average money spent by user. Uh, there were slower shooters that leveled the playing field between old and young people. Um, true, and, and buying power is definitely one to watch out for. You don't want you don't want games to be whoever has the biggest wallet. Uh, oh boy, let's double check the toilet. Ooh, ooh, that's a dead toilet. If that's what you really want to know. There uh, there was one other accessibility setting I had off the top of my head, like a, a traditional one. Amusement. Um, button remapping, um... Even things like variable Recap. lives in, like, Discover console ports of games. Oh, like, if you ever play any of the home Research console versions of right. Metal Slug, uh, like, there's free play modes, and then there's modes that, like, give you so many lives. And the game is hard, it's hard to play on, like, you know, one singular credit worth of play. I think it takes about like 30 credits for me to beat it, to meet a Metal Slug game. Uh, body, button remapping should be, um, it should definitely be a thing in the, uh, a lot of games. There are a lot of games that do have, um, yeah, like one or two modes. Um, but you'd be amazed the handful of PS1 games, uh, that do have full on button remapping. The Blobulator. Oh, oh, it's a log flume. Well, you let's your let's get this. Let's them. let's do a log flume. Uh, have I got enough space? So one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. You gotta do that. I'm not making this easy for me to see. <laughs> Ooh, this is a that is a ledge and a half, but at least I figured it out. The Blobulator. Let's add people to that. Lots of people going there. Uh, is if the Xbox accessibility controller is actually like that is that is an amazing product as well. I am running out of money real quick. I just noticed. It's like where is it all going? I know I spent a fair bit on the log flume, but like where is it actually going? I'm getting concerned. I'm about to just like drain all my money out. Uh, that's money in. Hold on. Oh, yeah, that's the loan. Visitors find your ticket. Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah,
new feature has been researched. You know, a feature, as in... Yeah, but hold on, wait, money in, money out. Feature and powder my nose, or I guess I spent a lot here. Down on this feature that actually would be quite a fair bit, but like... There's a young scallywag going round popping kids' balloons. Pooping kids' you get balloons. get a guard to put a stop to it. Uh... The ability to pause. Yeah, there's a lot of games that don't have the ability to pause. Um, there was one. Oh, I had one off the top of my head. A game that had a, a wonderful accessibility setting from like ages ago. Like, it's it's now escaped my mind. Um, I'll come back to it. I'll, I'll think about it. I'll, I'll get to it. A bit. Um, I was gonna say the number of driving games that actually allow you to have driving assists that don't actually apply to the cars that you're driving, but they add the assists anyways. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll never get, like, too upset about, like, um, you know, like, a lot of driving games having rewind functions. Where it's just, like, there are some games that are just, they're too dog. They're way too tricky to play without, really, the, the rewind system. Um, have a good one, Basil. One of your rides is about to Thank break you, my man. Tick. Have Come a good on. one. Or I suppose you could fix it. I feel like I, I am gonna go bankrupt. That's gonna be a wonderful way to end, end the whole stream, isn't it? Listen, my general rule of thumb has been end at the end of June 2003, so as long as I can keep 20,000 bucks alive by that, because I can't take out another loan. So, although I guess you go bankrupt after six months, so... Maybe I should... Maybe I should show off what happens when you go bankrupt. Literally, the park door is closed, and then it uh, shows the word bankrupt on screen like this, and then uh, you have to just pause and reset the park. Yeah, yeah, I, it's, like, I, I do, I do agree that, like, I do want to include as many people as possible. I'm a little bit jaded about this Last of Us thing because, one, like, the game isn't out yet, the remaster one, but yet, I'm hearing about all these accessibility features as if it's just, like, it's a marketing point, like, oh boy, they're advertising how accessible the game is, and it's, like, half of those things are not accessibility things, they're... Difficulty settings, and I feel like just anyone else would market it as um, as difficulty settings. And I feel like there's some games out there that do have wonderful difficulty settings. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Actually, I remember um, System Shock, the original one. If anyone's played it, it actually has uh, various difficulty modes, um, which let you slide up and down the combat, the puzzle navigation, the um, See if you can uh, the actual, like, flying space nice. minigames, uh, and then have an overall game time limit as well. And generally, you play with, you like, not, you, you don't play with a time limit, change. you play with the game you know, maybe on, like, some normal park, settings here and there. Uh, but yeah, there's, like, there's some people and they'll hate the, the puzzles. And I kind of like that about the games that are, like, multi-factor. Sometimes the difficulty can be kind of wild. Um, well... Here's the thing as well, a lot of those things in The Last of Us, I look at it and I go, okay, like, I think they probably could patch the old game, like, in theory. None of them seem like they're doing anything too wacky, like, enemy has reduced visibility, okay, we'll just find where you do all your visibility code and, and bail out. Like, you know, <laughs> extrapolate it out and kind of go, well, check the setting. We've got trouble, boss! <clears throat> all right, is all my rides going? are breaking down. What is going on? Can I make some money? Three thousand bucks? Well, I mean, I'll accept the challenge. Take a look at the message for details. So make three thousand. Hold on. Make five hundred bucks from sideshows. Well, I'm not making it from that one. I'm not making it from the other one. You can view and Maybe I should just reduce the prize. The Move the sliders to change the odds of. Yeah, you get no money when you win. The prize and the price Enjoy. Of the, the buttons on the bottom let you delete the sideshow. Move it, apply the settings to all sideshows. You get 40 time, bucks. And open or close it. To rename the sideshow, click in its name. What is Or click the button on the that right. That is edge why. Of the it's like, what is this? What is this reward? In the park. It's a crazy reward. Jeez. Uh, Total Biscuit has always gone on above the options menu first in any port report. You always look at the button mapping and if you can rebind them first, he says it should be in the PC game, no questions asked. I 100% agree. Um, 
and 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 also like yeah like you can you, you know rebind stuff in pc in a lot of pc games without necessarily going through the game you can use stuff like um uh, if you're on a controller, I think there's a lot of control rebinding tools out there, and even, um, there's bound to be keyboard rebinders. But, yeah, like, there, there's not much reason for a lot of these games, like, yeah, a lot of these games can implement it, they just don't, sometimes. And, I don't know, I feel like all of our computer programs should be as, as accessible as possible. And I think there's not much reason why they can't. Because a lot of accessibility settings are just... A new feature Checks. has been just researched. Things here and there where it's like, Even oh, the like, features have new features. what's the, oh, I should be, I should be really reeling in these guys. 68. There are areas Not 68. Of aren't being patrolled by an entertainer and people there 60. are starved for amusement. 59. 58. 57. What was it just before? Are they really too angry about, like, okay, 56. Oh my gosh, really? 54. It was actually 50 just earlier. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay, 52. You'll accept 52 bucks. Does that make people, like, immediately upset? Like, trying to come in? This screen lists all of the visitors in your park. Maybe. It actually might. Details. All these people Click have been doing a thumbs right. down are already unhappy. Click a button on <laughs> that's that's probably where all my money goes. I keep running the line way too way too thin. Um Too many people went Oh, do I do it? Do I make everything too hard? Um yeah, yeah, yeah. Games that let you do control and shift as modifier keys is also, that's, that is a nice one. Because, yeah, there's a lot of games um, that I've played, uh, like, Euro Truck Sim is a good example. And actually, Euro Truck Sim is, is an amazing example about, of just general accessibility. The game's got so many good, like, extra features to let you, you know, play the game as uh, involved or not involved as possible. But one thing I love about it is that I play the game on, uh, I used to play the game on a controller, I now play it on a wheel, and I find that being able to do, like, meta buttons is really, really nice. Um, off the opposite features, making it harder to see. Oh, true, yeah, that as well. Like, having, um, features to make the game harder is also kind of nice. Um, sometimes you actually get difficulty settings that also feel like, like, in the same way that we're kind of going, like, oh, like, look, you know, a game that you, you can skip the puzzles. It's like, oh, you're kind of removing you know, an element of the game doesn't, you know, you might be losing an aspect of the game. Um, you'll sometimes get games where it's like, they hide the UI on harder difficulties. And it's like, why? Like, so, some of the, I mean, it makes the game harder, I'm sure, but like, a lot of these, there's quite a number of games that aren't designed for you to not see things as part of the UI. Um, I'm trying to think of like a really good example of like that one. Some little terrorist has set off a stink bomb in your park. You don't stink bombs. People get sick, and you really have something to clean up. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an right, money, money out. major pockets of cultural deprivation. Do I save myself two fifty a month on the staff cost? I thought you should know that the clock has almost run out on completing your challenge. That's the challenge. Oh. I have made 20 bucks. All my sideshow money is gone. Eureka! We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Are you kidding me? Oh, Are you kidding me? How the heck people keep making money off this? Alright. Do I just do it so no one wins? No one wins. No one wins. Think of Deus Ex Human Revolution as the annoying thing with a hacking where it's randomness. Yeah, the Deus Ex hacking is, uh... Very silly, uh... Yeah, standard one, like, no minimap and high difficulty, so broken like, you pull the tempo, high, high DUI, makes it slightly harder to check out yourself. Or Battlefront, you look at your actual weapon. Um, oh, actually, yeah, sorry, stop it. Like, uh, the, the Battlefield games, um, there's hardcore servers, and the hardcore servers, it's like, they get rid of the map, they get rid of your weapon, like, ammo and the UI. You only know, like, the objectives people are on. Um, 
and then also it's like it gets rid of healing and it's like the whole like regenerating health i'm like ha the game is not built around people to meet your challenge. Mm. I, made, I made 20 bucks of profit cool cool uh Toxic for the world. Yeah, yeah. The, I, I, and actually, this was this was another one as well. Um, they uh they patched Halo Infinite. There was a glitch where people would be like grappling hook uh, on a car that they've launched and basically like flying across the map by by using that. They patched that out. Um, and I do remember some people saying that it's like it's emergent gameplay, and it's like why is it? It's it's just an exploit. Like you just you're breaking the game. We know that. Also, a lot of, a lot of uh, speed runs. Well, downgrade version. I don't, I don't know why I'm getting a bit gassy in my belly. Sorry. Um, a lot of games have like, uh, well, sorry. A lot of speed runs will like downgrade versions of games to, um, you know, to run them at certain versions that are buggier. Like uh, Portal One's a perfect example, where it's like in old versions of the engine, you could like sit between portals and effectively shoot between them, and then absolutely break levels by doing that um and it's obviously patched out you can't do it really anymore uh man i am struggling so hard on this level i'm not making money there's a litter bug running amok in the park you should get a cleaner on the case well uh, okay i'll tell you this this game gets hard man this game gets really tricky people are so picky at least i can take out an extra ten thousand dollars but i don't know i don't <laughs> lots of your visitors are thirsty Maybe you should build some drink shops. Where do they want the drink shops? You're thirsty, there's a drink shop here! No one can find the drink shops. There's three of them. Amazing. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think... It's always tricky. I guess in this Halo example, like, this exploit can be done in the multiplayer. Um, that's good too. Yeah, this is this is the future where everything costs crazy amounts. Maybe I should make the chips. Oh, maybe I should make the chips cost more because I was charging less for them earlier. Just to make the drinks better. Uh, so space balls has an upgrade. Hooray for space balls! Oh, don't fix it. Uh. Oh boy, I am so struggling, I'm struggling so hard, oh my goodness, my spending is just crazy. Uh, exploits in single player games should not be fixed unless they just a break stuff. Has been researched. You know, I, do, I do like the idea of keeping in exploits, uh, but I also do feel like, you know, you don't want people to accidentally stumble upon bugs. Like, there's stuff like the backwards long jump in Mario, where I li or in Mario 64, where I go, Your scientists eh, have a it's, new prob set of features available it's probably not gonna, like, you know, kids don't accidentally do a backwards long jump. <laughs> I'll just say that. Um, but then there's other ones, like, uh, uh, you know, uh, everyone's probably played a game where it's like, you've been able to fall through the floor. And it's like, yeah, that's kind of annoying when you accidentally trigger an exploit. Plasma trope. Fancy. Stick it right in the middle here. Look at that. Ooh. Uh, chuck some small crystals. My goop crystals. There are areas of the park that aren't being patrolled by an entertainer and people Strafing there are and rocket jumping. For amusement. See, rocket jumping feels intentional because it's the only way to get to like the secret level in, in Doom 1 in episode 3. Maybe you it's the only way to do it. Uh, strafe running the... Uh, um, Strafe running the uh, the idea of moving forward and then sideways uh, makes you move route two times faster in a certain direction. That's one where it's like, I, I mean, depending on your game, you might want to patch it out. Although I don't think games ever did patch out strafe running. It was always just kind of kept in as like a mechanical thing. Um, uh, so uh, exploring AI that constantly gets stuck on a simple rock. Um, yeah, sometimes it's left and sometimes it's not. I do think that, like, you should make your game kind of foolproof. Like, you do want players to not exploit the AI, because the game is more fun when you don't exploit the AI. Some people do find enjoyment in it, and that's okay, but yeah, if too many people 
do find um, exploiting the AI more fun than playing the game itself, and then they don't find the game fun overall, that's an issue. That is a lot of people. That is a lot of people. It's because I built the thing in the middle of the road. Rika, we've discovered a new right. How's the park oh, value? Are they gonna like 52 bucks? Are they okay with 52? Right. They're cool with it. We're cool. Ah, We're cool with it. That's good too. Cuban Missile Madness, heck yeah! Oh boy, everything is about to break down on me. Alright everyone, enjoy. There's no rides available, it's all closed, apparently. Uh, the fun stories about Fatality in Mortal Kombat, that was supposed to be the super hidden thing and the kid was allowed to be the first one to test the game finally. I mean, did one last day, just saw the guy gasolated the poor kid and the kid did not know how to reproduce it. People are thirsty and they can't find anything to drink. Think about building some more drinks. Oh my shops. goodness. Uh, I have no idea where to build a drink shop that's not directly next to another drink shop, so we'll just put one here. How much am I charging on my drink shops? 40 bucks. Yeah. But like, where is... Where are people being thirsty? There. There you go, there's a drink shop right there. I can't I can't do anything about it. Yeah, no, I I, I do remember um the fatalities be. And like the fatalities were Your scientists uh, have come effectively up with cheat codes. Ooh, an anti-gravity chamber. Oh, this is from the, the video at the beginning. Some areas of the park aren't being patrolled by an entertainer. We're talking major pockets of cultural uh, deprivation. Let's there we go. Oops. The anti-gravity chamber it supports, uh, apparently it's safe to, to put eight people in there. Cool. What does riding the anti-gravity chamber do? Uh, people on the internet are usually thirsty, especially in the pool stream category. I feel like I am an absolute... I was gonna say Puritan, that's not the word. Puritan means I would want those people gone. It's more, I don't know. Like, I, I, I'm just so unaware of, like, all the wild stuff that keeps going on the internet, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you just go. Well, they're going, they're going. And they're thirsty, there's a drink shop right there. Every, everyone is continually thirsty, I don't, I think this, this, making the chip salty thing has backfired because now everyone is so thirsty nothing ever gets like done uh let's uh let's get some more cleaners because legit not enough not enough clean everyone is throwing up everywhere jeez and also while i'm at let's stick another staff room because i think there's a big problem when people walk into the other side of the map to get into a staff room so let's stick that there Some joker is littering around your park. See if you can get a cleaner over there. Keeps to littering, clean up really? Mess. Can't believe it. So, yeah, I I always wonder like, what's going on with a uh, like cheat codes don't really exist much nowadays. Usually, it's just you expose like a console in your games, and then you just um, you know you got you got like codes you just put in that. And sometimes I feel like cheat codes occasionally are forced. Cheat codes, effectively, they should just be, like, developer commands that are just there. Like, oh, I jump to a certain level, or, you know, I have infinite lives, because when I'm testing the game, I don't really want to be testing game overing all the time. I just want to be able to get to a certain point. Um, so that's usually where a lot of cheat codes exist. Mortal Kombat, I feel like, yeah, it kind of changed it, because people just... Um, Did you know that even now? At the you know, well, sorry. They they marketed the the cheat codes. They were just like these are special things that you can do. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes leaving them in is pretty good fun. Uh, you do have to make sure that they're not like crude, like you know that they're, they're they're appropriate for the people who are supposed to be buying your game. But generally, uh, there's a lot of games with um. Uh, with swear words somewhere in the middle of development and they're just like in text on the disc or something like that You can't really accidentally stumble upon it sometimes, but uh, yeah uh, Also, sorry uh, 
the curve of the Olympic running track to allow people to stray if they just notice that one. Uh, favorite of these games, they give cheat-like abilities that you can toggle when you beat the game. Uh, yeah, unlocking cheats is pretty neat. Unlocking cheats is always a, a nice one. People enjoy this ride and get real sick. They, wow, they go for it. They get, they do get sick. Also, my money went down again. Like, I guess the... I guess my in broke my out that time. Well, I don't... I'm not gonna go bankrupt for the... For the end of the stream, but oh boy. A new feature has been reset. Oh boy, I'm not doing... I'm not Even doing a great job. But I do get to put in the sign, so... What is the sign gonna say? You can view the details of miscellaneous items. Uh, on the Use the buttons at the bottom to delete the items. Uh, if the game has replay value or completion left to do, you take Assassin's Creed 2 and you did right gather all the feathers you unlocked, uh, the ability to make it so you items. didn't have the highest one to level. Yeah, that's nice. Um, I think there's stuff like uh, I remember Turok 2 having um, like a level select at the end, which was kind of neat. Um, you know, get, there's a lot of games with like cheap menus at the end. Uh, stream because he rage quit. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Help, I am losing my home. That that appears when you entered and exited this log flume. Well, I heavily change your experience. Uh, only sadly by the time you have unlocked it, you're probably... Yeah, yeah, I usually think they're nice little bonuses, but yeah, like, obviously... I've played to the game, so uh, that's a upgrade to this. So cool. Um, oh my gosh, there's so much puke. There is more puke in this level than any of the other levels. It just it keeps getting worse. There are areas of the park that are also hi there. To my ability, I'm there gonna are for call on that, and again with that one, and again with that one. My mechanics are gonna have a fun time, aren't they? Yeah, jeez. All right, mechanics, have have if, have at it, yeah. <laughs> so, moral of the story is, don't go on Twitter.com. I say that knowing I have a Twitter, and I know there's some people out there who view my videos on Twitter. Uh, that's, I mean, that's why I'm on Mastodon, because it's very easy to, like, everyone's like counts are all inflated differently, so, Christmas. True, true Christmas. Like, every, everyone's like counts are all inflated differently, no matter where on, like, on what sites, sorry, on what, like, circles you're in, uh, on Twitter. Uh, so it's very easy to see someone get a lot of likes, and then suddenly it's like, oh, their opinion must be very true, even though this guy literally, like, made up stuff about game development and said that a certain engine cannot support boolean values that effectively exist in a menu. It's not trivial to add the values, but it's, it's not impossible by any means, and certainly not something that you can't do in an update. So, don't take people on Twitter seriously. Only FP16. True. True. Uh, well, you cannot see the dislikes are a lot higher than the many likes. Good job, YouTube. Yeah, I... Oh, I'll still never understand disabling the dislikes. Like, I, I, I understand the specific use cases that they're trying to get rid of it, but it's like, dude, it's a dislike bar. You can hide it anyways, and then people make fun of you for hiding the dislikes anyway. But, like, they make fun of you on platforms that are not YouTube. Places that you cannot control. You cannot control what someone says about your videos on not YouTube. So I'm just like, I just don't care about it. Sometimes people say negative things about you, like... It happens. It's fine, just don't let it get to you. We've discovered a new right. Oh, wait. oh, yeah, yeah. Same thing There's with, like, Instagram. It's just like... It's just like, I just want to, like, look at a thing that someone linked me, and it's trying to get me to make an account, and then, like, do all the stuff. And the, and the whole reason, like, it's a free account, so I'm obviously not making money for them. Or am I? You know? You inflate their, their user count metrics, they then say they've got so many users, Elon Musk then says, uh, sure, okay, and then nearly buys the whole company, you know what I mean? 
Uh, yeah, oh, Twitter, it's very easy to fall into not safe for work or, um, like, full on. Full, full on porn. There's a it just happens on Twitter. Park. You should get a cleaner on the case and clean up the I house. do I do appreciate that uh there's some wild west sites out there and my ticket price is too high again. Really? Really? I think some of these people are just too stingy. Uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Twitter's a weird wild west of just like everything. Like every single kind of community just like clashes with each other because it has no idea what to recommend. There's too much of some things to recommend and then it tries to diversify the things you're interested in only to then completely alienate the communities that clash with each other all the time. It, it somehow is never an issue on any other social media site. Maybe Facebook. Maybe Facebook. But it, like Facebook's usually just because you're directly being brigaded into someone else. YouTube, YouTube, uh, has always had to compete with the whole, like, popular YouTuber versus, like, new YouTuber thing. They've done an okay job where it's like, if you search anything, you'll get, like, 10 results of people who are really famous, and then 10 results of videos that were uploaded in, like, the last, like, two days. So, fun fact, by the way, once I upload my VOD, try and Google, or try and search Theme Park World on YouTube, scroll down, you're very likely to find my video, um... And then, like, it'll, it'll kind of disappear once it's been out for, like, too long. Uh, unless it gets very popular, in which case, cool. Um, but yeah, you, YouTube's tried their best to sort out with that. But at the very least, like, you know, YouTube's still got, like, a handful of guidelines. Uh, videos can still be age-gated. And, uh, and also, um, like, engagements are not, like... I guess the thing that makes it very different is that you can't see what, ed like, what a specific person has commented. Like on every sorry you can't see where a certain person has commented on every video whereas like twitter it's like you can see everything that they reply to and then people disable replies to their like to their posts so you do quote retweets which is even worse like legit legit twitter you, you're just inviting people to brigade it doesn't stop anything you know that um, now, at the dawn of a new century so uh of the park that do you know the youtube before? channel yo mama uh, is, is that the one with the guy who sounds like, um, who's the, who's the guy with the really deep voice, who voices Krunk? The staff are happy, and if you keep them that way, they yeah. won't go and <laughs> The strike. staff are happy, yeah, my wallet isn't happy. Oh boy. But I do, I did get a laser show. You know, a feature oh, let's stick the laser show here. I'll just run to the feature so fire them into space. Let's sit down on this feature and take a load oh. of... Oh, oh. That channel is pretty big and make fun videos. We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait. Did not know the channel. We've researched a new ride. Upgrade. Ah, that's good too. I think it might be the one I'm thinking of. There's like one video floating around, which is uh. Oh my gosh, the rides are all breaking down on me. There is a little problem with one of the rides. Yeah, there's some fun YouTube channels out there. Um, I feel like there's, there's always YouTube drama. It's always there's always been YouTube drama. Um, but I don't know. There's a lot of YouTubers out there. That's like sometimes they. One of your rights has broken I I know. I ju the, the you have two two messages of the same thing. There's a yeah. There's a lot of YouTube channels and out there that the don't really do drama. I, I, I try it. my best. Uh, but I was gonna say if anyone remembers the uh, the pro Jared uh, scenario from two years back. Is it two years now? Actually, it might have been three years, because he went silent for quite a while, and then he didn't upload any videos for a while. Um, for reference as well, if you've seen Pro Jared's dick, then, uh, you know, consider yourself Some lucky or unlucky, depending on that. Uh, but he went through, like, three hits back to back. Um, and, uh, and, you know, at the very least, like, he still makes the same kind of content he always has. And I think that's the important part. Is that like, you know, YouTube is a place where a lot of people do stuff kind of for the sake of making fun videos. And I'm not saying that people are necessarily good or bad people just because they make videos on YouTube, but certainly the videos they make don't 
always, and I'm gonna say even usually, represent the person. They're kind of just, they're a fun video, so... Eh. Oh, yeah, 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 um, yeah, Pro, Jared, Pro Jared's pictures around that time are very lewd, so... Um, I think he would probably choose to never mention them ever again, and... Uh, honestly, like, I say, yeah, it's kind of weird that those pictures even existed in the first place, but, you know, you that's, that's his more. decision, I guess. Uh... Yeah, the YouTube algorithm's a weird one. Maybe, maybe I've said the word dick, and now I've said it twice. So, maybe YouTube's now like, oh, your video speaks of, of, uh... You know, loot content. That's why I, I usually, like, you know, I, I don't really swear on my streams. I just keep it, like, pretty neutral. Um, and they're not, like, heated places. I think YouTube does do tone, um, like, stuff. Richard. Oh, I should say Richard. Or Johnson. Johnson's a good one as well. Give me the money. Can you actually just say, like, the, like... You could just say the word, like, genital- I'm just saying everything now. Pity cat. You know how algorithms and machine learning works? Horrifying and other companies use uh, algorithms to you have a filter resumes and, and stuff. Idea. Do you think you should build Like, drink I don't know what's worse. Like, companies that just, like... What's- what's the thing- what's- <laughs> what's, like, the classic thing? It's like- it's like, I have time to- to look at ten resumes. So you take ten resumes off the top. You shove the rest in the bin, and you go like, these are the lucky ten. <laughs> like, I, I always get salty about that, but it's like, you know, ultimately, like, they only have so much time to actively look at things. They have to be using some sort of metric or some sort of algorithm to filter out the ones that they don't have time to look at. Uh, ideally, if, if they think it's it's worthwhile, they'll use, a, you know, one of these algorithms, um, that's actually kind of, you know, try to be intelligent, that does its best to try and actually find the, the smartest people. Um, Hedgehog Department should not be allowed to use algorithms, only very basic, well, yeah, like, how, how do you define an algorithm? Because picking the top ten is an algorithm, technically. Uh, algorithms are bad because people, uh, I, I think it's more than people in Hedgehog. I think it is, like, a lot of people don't know the scope of, um, the scope of the algorithms that they're using sometimes, and especially as well, you don't know all the inputs that, like, all the possible combinations of inputs. There may be inputs that absolutely bork your algorithms. Some um, areas of the part aren't being controlled by an entertainer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, like, of cultural uh, I, I guess you would say a filtering algorithm that is based on the actual content in it. Because obviously picking the top 10, it's not based on the content. You are just arbitrarily picking, um, like, 10 resumes. So, whereas, like, you know, picking, uh, you know, resumes that, say, have, like, you know, you do a language, or, or yeah, yeah, you do a, a sentiment analysis on it, and it's like, oh, if they're, like, 70% positive or up, you keep them, or something like that. And it's like, oh, like, what does that mean? Some people's resumes are entirely different to others, so... Rika, we've discovered a new ride. Oh, I want to stick my large crystals in this ride. park Upgrade. Ah, somewhere. That's good too. Man, I've really dense this one out, isn't it? I've got all, I've got all this space up here, though. A new feature has been researched. Why? Even the features have there. new features. I seem to click that one way before the prompt of that. Uh, so yeah, um, no golden tickets at all. It's, it's completely absent from this one, okay. So who's got the upgrade? I will not know who got the upgrade. Um, yeah. There's a, there's a bit of a spooky world, I guess, in terms of, like, algorithms and other kinds of stuff uh, effectively running things. Um, but I think, uh, I think also, like, the algorithms only make sense for like, ridiculous large companies that do get so many applicants. Like, the, like, your, your company will, I do, th I think, I'm just saying this out of conjecture, but I think it's true. Like, if your company has double the staff, you will get more than double the number of applicants. Like, I feel like it is a scaling thing. Right? It, it's just gonna happen. Like, like, uh, ever, everyone knows, um, you know, NVIDIA, NVIDIA, please hire me. And, uh, <laughs> 
I always, I always joke about that one. Um, and it's just like, everyone has NVIDIA. Uh, so like, all these people are going to be applying. Overseas, whatever. Jane Street, oh true, Jane, Jane Street's a, a fun one. Um, and, uh, and so like, people know all these big companies. For us, like, the first place I worked at is like, dude, I think they like, ran past like, three resumes. And then they hired me. Uh, and they, they only hired like, eight engineers. Um, so I, I feel like that, yeah the, a lot of small are coming uh, granted Did you know it's not an it's not an equal comparison because the company the often of the uh, you know different different salaries different lines of work technically they're in the same industry but sure uh, they should have at least one person in HR understanding the algorithm and making it running um, true true different different companies are I definitely think like more people know of Canva uh, the other big Australian tech company. Um, I surprisingly have never used a Canva product. Someone's gonna like absolutely yell at me for, for never having that one, but uh, they had a lot of applicants just for the intern position. True, as well, because the intern is a different job market to maybe other kind of companies as well. Uh, filtering CVs for programming languages, someone knows, bad. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm chucking your resume in the garbage if you write, um, Visual Basic, Fortran, or Rust. <laughs> there you go. Easy filter. Why Fortran? You got you, you gotta watch out. I don't want people introducing people to Fortran in your in your workplace. Cobalt. You gotta keep the Cobalt people though. First thing, maybe you should build some drink shops. I. This is this is my eternal struggle trying to figure out how many drink shops is too many. I mean, they're right as well. That's the worst part. Like, if I go to this screen, no, people just think things are disgusting. Okay. I'm not getting. I'm, I'm not getting any of these golden the tickets. Been thrown down. You have a new challenge. Check out the message for details. Five thousand bucks. Let's do it. All okay. right. So, <laughs> how about let's, let's go for this challenge, and then when the challenge ends, that's it. So, uh, costume shark. It's not like most worth it for the money, but sure. I'm trying my best. You, Rika. We've discovered a new ride. Oh, wait, hang on. We've there we go. Uh, why Russ? Uh, I just picked three arbitrary languages that have nothing to do with the current things that I predict my company will do. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's really arbitrary. Oh, it's just something like that. Google Carbon. Oh, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bonus points if you're using Golang. Uh, with... <laughs> Know some modern language like Java and you're younger and high demand. Um, you're, you're in real high demand if you know Rust, apparently. That, that is one thing. Uh, Cobalt with 10 years of experience, you have a chance to figure out the old, old document code of these old programs. Um, yeah, yeah, your, your, your skills do change. Being patrolled by an the, oh, wait, this is 15%. I'll never get this one. For amusement. At least my... What am I spending at the beginning of the month? Am I actually spending three grand on staff? Well, I'm spending two grand. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. I think if I don't do anything, I'll be spending... Oh, wait, it's the loan. The loan has taken, like, an extra grand and a half out of that. I could probably pay off the loan soon, because I'm halfway in, so... Oh, but yeah. Uh, writing Pearl confused my co-workers using the default dictionary in Python really messed with my teammates. Oh, yeah. Oh, the default dictionary. Oh, dude, I know what you mean. Listen, I'll, I'll say I did have to write Pearl at my Eureka. last work. We've discovered a Tubes new of Zob. Ooh. Here you go. One last ride to sweeten the deal, because I know Sweden the deal. If you... <clears throat> I don't know what I was going on that one. Uh, here we go. The tubes of Zob. What? What is this? Your mechanics can't handle all of the rides. Okay, fine. I'll put another one in. Some more? You are now responsible for this. Have fun. What is the tubes of Zob? Some scoundrel is popping. What am I looking at here? It's really difficult. Oh, oh. Have a oh, it's it's like the hot nonsense. pot. It goes up, spins around, comes back down. It's like the yeah. Oh, sorry, it's like a eruption. Sorry, from the first part. 
We've come full circle. And I'm nearly at the end of uh, Deep Park Wild, so how about I, I wrap it up, so... People are thirsty, and they can't find anything to drink. Think about building some They shops. can't find anything to drink. I don't understand these people. The toilets are getting dirty. And the toilets are getting dirty. Alright, so... Uh, pop in. I will say, I... Yeah, I know. I've really enjoyed playing this game. I've also really enjoyed the fact that people have tuned in. Uh, you can build something like that in Roller Coaster Tycoon. If you made it high enough, it's oh yeah, true, true yeah. With so many of the toilets closed, there don't seem to be enough to keep everyone happy. The I'll never know how to make people much, happy in this park. I swear. Roof over their heads, um, so yeah, no, this game is good fun. I enjoy it. I feel like people might might say that this so game is a bit of a cash grab, generic uh, kind of we're park game. They've had, you know, maybe the other ones were better. I'm doing okay on the costumes. Maybe they'll do it. Uh, maybe they'll do it. Um, but I, I, I feel like this is all right. And granted, like this game is a bit of a nostalgia fest for me. It's one of a, you know, I've got it on CD. It's, it's, it's an old one, but it's a goodie. Uh, but I'd say like you know what, it runs okay given that you've got DG Voodoo and the game isn't giving you a seizure if you didn't have DG Voodoo. Um, installed. And it'll be yours. The, um, you know, I, I like the the designs of all these rides. They're really nice and, and, and interesting, even if there's a bit of, like, overlapping ones. Like, this is just the same as Eruption, this this ride. Uh, the, you know, one of these flight tour rides, and this is the thing rocking in front of a screen ride. Yeah, there's a bit of that, and you obviously... The costumes people are buying. They're having a great oh, time. Oh, am I about to do it? Am I actually about to do it? That would be the best way to end this. We did it. Legends, everyone. Legends. We have done it. We have completed the game. That That is the ending of the game. The third challenge. That is amazing. That actually works. Because I remember struggling with that in the first part. Does anyone remember that? Exactly. Or was it the second part? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, no. I really enjoy the soundtrack to this game as well. I just love that it builds upon these, like, themes and... and you know, it starts kind of soft and gradually works up into something a bit more chaotic with all these motifs going on. Um, and it re and they really capture the the vibes of the the parks really well, which uh, you know, again, varied a lot in terms of the visuals. I guess the only thing that you re you can really demand is more depth in gameplay. Obviously, Roller Coaster Tycoon, uh, you know, there's challenge in building the the rides. Rides have uh, actual excitement levels that you know seem like they're affected by the um you know complexity of the ride whereas like most of the rides in this game are pop them down that's it sure okay uh i think roller coaster tycoon also has much more interesting scenarios and parks because all of these parks kind of all start and look the same um sure and uh is there anything else really i do think the 3d visuals like they're they're pretty and they decently hold up. Like, yeah, sure, like, yeah, the, the, the textures and the models are kind of low poly, and yeah, okay, like, you know, you know and this guy's very annoying, he keeps, he keeps showing up, uh, and also, yeah, like, there's a lot of sprites all around, but it's also, it's so bright and colorful, it looks so fun, uh, in its fun little wobbly way. I really enjoy this game a lot. I'm amazed that I just researched the super toilet. It's only been two hours thirteen. There we go. We needed a super toilet eventually. Stick it in there. What a piece of advice. Get a good crowd into this park. It could win you a golden ticket. I am very close to that, but I don't think I'm going to be able to win a golden ticket this stream. So, uh, but yeah. Anyone got any other kind of closing thoughts on this game, or...? There's there's more to it. Um, I feel if you ride some- or if you run some of these parks a bit longer, you'll definitely see some of the, you know, some of the lingering rides that I've yet to- yet to research, like Shocker. I think maybe I'll- I'll get Cosmic Bounce, because I mean, you know, I'm almost done with the features. I'll get Cosmic Bounce. And I'll call it. Yeah, I hope you all have enjoyed a watching this, getting me to, you know, <laughs> let me Smiles go down memory lane. I feel like a lot of the games I play are just me going down memory lane, but 
No, seriously, like most of the games I play are just games I've played in the, you know, early 2000s. Your scientists have come Cosmic up with a bounce. Here we go. We end where we started. It's the dawn of a new age. A new set of rides has become available to research. Oh yeah, I haven't done a go-kart ride. Well, there's a weird little alien that you bounce on. It's like the dinosaur. Wow. Alright, uh, it's connected up, let's make it all good, so... Anyways, I shall call it there. Save. There you go. Very nice. So, with that, I would like to thank you all so very much for watching. I am very tired, I, I, I've just realized, like, man, I'm getting kind of tired now, so... Thank you all so very much for watching me play this game. Uh, I'll be playing a new game next week, and, uh, until then, I gotta figure out what the game I'm playing is. Uh, so yeah, if you enjoyed this, and you missed parts of it, you can watch the VOD on YouTube, or, I guess, on Twitch, because it's still there. And you can subscribe on YouTube, or follow on Twitch, where I shall stream this time next week, basically. That's about it. Uh, but yeah, no, new game, new exciting opportunities for something, uh, new and interesting. Uh, a game that you might not expect, a game that you might expect... I don't know yet, so you should not know yet. And if you do know, please tell me, where do you get your psychic training? I feel like I should actually attend a psychic course so I can play on people who know that they have psychic training. Is there a thing? Can you get like a degree in psychic, psychology, not psychology, but like psychic, like mediums? Or do you have to like be born into a certain kind of like, ah, I should look this up. All right, have a good one, everyone. Sleep tight, and uh, I guess I'll see you in August. See ya.